All right, welcome back. This is uh, a tutorial about how to draw an umbrella. It kind of goes along with the book, uh, The Thingamabob. And if you look at the end of The Thingamabob, the, um, there are a few different designs of umbrellas. And so I'm just gonna do an umbrella. So think of your favorite color and you can do an umbrella of your favorite color. So my favorite color is purple and blue. So I'm gonna do um, a umbrella with purple and blues. So I'm gonna start first with, let's see, what is this? Uh, blue violet. So when you're first starting to draw an umbrella, you want to, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be a semicircle, similar to the arch that we drew with the mushroom, you're gonna kinda of start in the middle of your page and you're gonna make an arch. So we're gonna make this arch. So you can see there's the arch. So for our um, for this umbrella, we're gonna do a, a line, um, like a zigzag line. So it's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So now I have my arch, I have my zigzag line, and then I have to draw my handle. So the handle is a J. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down and then go up like that. Now, if you wanna make it a thick one, you're gonna go right next to this line and you're gonna do a bigger J, and then that's gonna go, and then you're gonna connect these two lines. And so now I have this, my handle for my umbrella and my, my umbrella. So I drew my umbrella in my blue violet, and now I'm going to do my designs in, my, in the blue. So I'm gonna choose this blue. This is called Cadet Blue. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna draw a line up, another line up, another line up, a line up, and then a line up. So you can see kind of like how I drew these lines. And now I'm going to pick another blue, and then I'm gonna do some polka dots. So this is turquoise blue. So when you do dots, you don't wanna just go like this because you can see you can't even see it. So when you're using a crayon, you can, uh, you do a circle and you fill it in. 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 Now, we're gonna do a pattern. So I used the turquoise blue first. My second color, I'm going to choose a different blue. Let's see what this one is. This one is called Blutiful. Hmm. And now I'm gonna do circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in. So now I'm going to choose one more blue. And I think I'm gonna choose this one. This one is called sky blue. I'm gonna do a circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in, circle, fill it in. So now I have to go back to my turquoise blue. Circle, fill it in. So you don't have to choose the same colors as me. You can just choose your two favorite colors and if you have a box of crayons, there's gonna be different shades of them. And just challenge yourself by making a pattern that also helps us with our pre-reading skills, pattern making. All right, so now I have my nice umbrella, my big handle. And now I'm gonna use my water paints. I'm gonna choose uh, the blue for my handle. Now, again, if you don't have water paints, just use, if you have food coloring at home, you can 
um, use the food coloring. If you want to continue with the crayons, you can just continue uh, using the crayons. But like I said, using paints helps us kind of use our brushes in, in a different way so that we're more gentle, we're not putting as much pressure, kind of gives our hands a little bit of a break and we kind of learn about um, just being very smooth and gentle as we're applying the water paints. And you can also definitely use um, temper paints if you have temper paints and you just wanna kind of make your handle and there we go. And now I'm gonna use the purple. And you can see how the water paint resists the crayon. And you can still see all the crayon dots and the lines that I made in the top of my umbrella. So when you make your umbrella, remember to use your two favorite colors and variations of the shade of that color. So you can have dark green, light green, you can have um, light orange, dark orange. Again, whatever your two most favorite colors are, it's gonna be like a fun way to make an umbrella. And then you can send me a picture of your umbrella so that I can see it and that everybody can see what everybody's favorite colors are too. And so when it's raining out, we usually get our umbrellas out. And then once the sun comes out, we usually see our rainbows. So this week we will also be learning how to make a rainbow. And most likely we'll be using some markers and water paint, all different kinds of ways to make rainbows. And if you have paper plates, we can also make rainbows using paper plates. There is the umbrella. Have fun.